I need a picture of Watney. Hi, Annie. Nice to hear from you, too. How are things back in Houston? Cut the shit, Venkat. I need a picture. It's not that simple, Venkat explained. You're talking to him with a fucking camera. How hard can it be? We spell out our message, wait twenty minutes, and then take a picture. Watney's back in the hab by then. So tell him to be around when you take the next picture, Annie demanded. We can only send one message per hour, and only when Asadalia Planitia is facing Earth, Venkat said. We're not going to waste a message just to tell him to pose for a photo. Besides, he'll be in his EVA suit. You won't even be able to see his face. I need something, Venkat, Annie said. You've been in contact for twenty-four hours and the media is going apeshit. They want an image for the story. It'll be on every news site in the world. You have the pictures of his notes. Make do with that. Not enough, Annie said. The press is crawling down my throat for this. And up my ass. Both directions, Venkat. They're gonna meet in the middle. It'll have to wait a few days. We're going to try and link Pathfinder to the rover computer. A few days? Annie gasped. This is all anyone cares about right now. In the world. This is the biggest story since Apollo 13. Give me a fucking picture. They want me to launch Hex at it on the rover's computer. Also, for some reason, they want me to hang around for the next pick. Not sure why. You can't see any part of me when I'm in the suit. Even the faceplate would reflect too much light. Still, it's what they want. I gave the camera a thumbs up to go along with my note, which read, Hey. Blame the 70s TV. I ask for a picture, and I get the fonz? Annie asked, admonishing Venkat. You got your picture. Quit bitching. Hey? Annie mocked. Why would he do that? Have you met Mark Watney? Fine. Fine, Annie said. But I want to pick up his face ASAP. Can't do that. Why not? Because if he takes off his helmet, he'll die. 